Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Purple Door ice cream. This is our first time trying Purple Door. Michael very kindly went to Purple Door, Michael in Wisconsin. He went to Purple Door online and he ordered, you can order like four for like $45. So, um, and then um, I think you have to pay for shipping on top of that. So I don't know how, exactly how much this cost him, but I appreciate it greatly. Um, we're gonna be trying two of the four flavors in this video. We have the malted chocolate chocolate chunk. And I have salted caramel. And he, Michael, uh, sent me a message on Facebook and he said, I'm going to order these for you. Which four do you want? So, you know, here he's paying for it, but he let us uh, pick the four flavors that we wanted. So, uh, I did a little, just a little online. I looked online. It said it's made in Milwaukee, Wisconsin and owned and operated by Steve and Lauren Schultz since 2011. They use local and quality ingredients. Every batch of Purple Door ice cream is handcrafted in small batches and taste tested for balance, accuracy, and depth, which is very important. Uh, you can check them out at purpledooricecream.com. Um, okay, so let's get to this one. This is the Malted Chocolate Chocolate Chunk. Chocolate ice cream with malt and dark chocolate chunks. Handcrafted Super Premium Ice Cream, which I just told you. Uh, it says the vision of Purple Door began in eighth grade when Lauren dreamed of owning an ice cream business. That vision became a reality with her husband Steve in 2011. Today, Purple Door produces Milwaukee's finest handcrafted ice cream. We hope this pint of ice cream brings a bit of joy to your day. Farmer pledged, um, let's see. My no. says the same thing. Okay. This is half a cup, 86 grams, is 220 calories. There are four servings in this pint. And you open it up and it's just a, looks like a thin piece of paper here. Yeah, it's not sealed, it's just laying on there. Right. So, we've had this laying out for what, 10 minutes? Here, 15 minutes. I see a little bit of chocolate in there. Yeah, there's some there's some chunks in there. See that big chunk? Mm -hmm. Trying to leave you a little to hold up, but I yeah, know. Let's get some chocolate in there. So. Okay. It smells good. Those hunks that you see at the top there, they look small, but they're actually um, they're actually very good sized pieces there. I'm just getting out of the container since I'll probably eat this anyway. <laughs> mm. That's delicious, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Did you get a big hung up chocolate? Oh yeah. It's a different flavor than your traditional, like just regular chocolate. Mm -hmm. That malted chocolate really does change, does, has a different flavor. I like that. It's got a very smooth, creamy texture. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Um, it doesn't have that that sugary, grainy feel that some ice creams do, which I don't mind necessarily. But I'm just saying this one just doesn't have that. No, it's a very, very creamy. Very smooth. And I love the, the the chocolate chunks because they're mm -hmm. crispy. So you get that added texture in there. I like a little texture um, in my ice cream. Right. Yeah, and, and they get stuck in your teeth and they melt. <laughs> yes, the ch exactly. And that might sound gross, but that's just the truth. The chocolate, the chocolate will melt in your teeth and then you get that added richness of that chocolate after the ice cream is gone. Mm -hmm. yep. So that is delicious. Good I would get that again. Oh okay, yeah, this one is uh, 200 calories. I think that's right. It's very tiny. Yes. <laughs> it uh, is one, tiny writing. This is a salted caramel. It's creamy caramel with, with hints of sea salt. Sounds so, good. Let's see if it really has salt in it. That's the thing. Yeah, when they say salted caramel, we, we want to taste some salt. Trust me. No, no I don't trust flick it on the floor. No, I don't. I they usually end up flicking it on the floor. He does. No, I don't trust him. 
That does not look at all like I thought it would look. Now, I thought it would have some ribbons and foam on there. It's completely white. I mean, it's as white as snow. I smell normal. So, I guess maybe there's no artificial colors and we're used to artificial colors or something. Because, I mean, that is some white. Uh, you would think that was vanilla to look at it, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. Looks like marshmallow. <laughs> You're going to hold it up. There's oh, I didn't really, know. Oh, I didn't know. Really I thought you were. I was waiting on you to hold it up. Yeah, that's it. It's like a big marshmallow. Marshmallow fluff. Like I said, I'll probably be eating this. So I'm just going to eat it out of the air. Wow. You taste all of them. You know, I guess we're just so used to seeing that ribbon of artificial. Brown no, because caramel may caramel. It turns brown when you cook it. It does turn brown. Well, then why is there's white? Mm -hmm. mm, and it good. is salted, I think. I get a little bit of salty. Um, yes. There's the mm. brown right there. Do you see that? Oh, yeah, just a thin And right of, here. And I don't right see here. any in here. The slightest slightest very thin line i love that it's I've very very good yeah mm. well, i mean we can't keep quit eating it <laughs> um the salt is not like it's not like granules of salt mm -hmm. it's almost like they they've mixed in some salt water like some salty water right you know, it's almost like they've um you know, because when we make the ice cream out back, you know, you've got the ice and the salt. Yes. It's almost like that briny water. They've taken a little bit of that and stuck it in the ice cream because it's kind of all through it. Mm -hmm. But I like it's it. It's not bad. I'm not saying it's, it's bad. Because it's consistent. It's... Yeah. It just doesn't have that sharp, like here's a grain of salt flavor, you know, where it's really super strong. It's kind of just a, 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 a level salt content all mm -hmm. through. But it's not bad. It's it, just different. It, the the writing on these labels is so super super small that it's hard to read this. It says proudly made with Becky's something. That's all I can read. Well, uh, proudly, you can't read it tonight, proudly made with Becky's, and I don't know if it's gonna be. I would assume maybe Becky's caramel. I don't know uh, because it literally is so small. The, oh, there's no way. Oh, wow. You would That's... need a magnifying glass, I'm telling you. So, I, I'm, I'm sorry I can't read that to you all, but maybe if you all live in Wisconsin, you know, because they do use all local ingredients. They use the milk from um, Wisconsin cows, unless there's a shortage. They, they make sure that they um, use their ingredients. And... Um, Michael, I love it that you sent us this because he's very proud of the products that are made in his state and this is something that we would never uh, get the opportunity to try. Um, I know they opened in, two, they started in like 2011, but they just not too long ago opened a scoop shop. So they do have a scoop shop. So that would be the way I would do this. In, um, I don't, I don't even know if they have more than one. I just know they at least have one. And um, so I think that's pretty cool. Cause ice cream, no matter where you get it, not just them, no matter where you get it, if you get it shipped to you, it's very, very, very expensive. Yes. Because they have to put dry ice in there. They have to ship it and, and like overnight it basically. Mm -hmm. So it's very expensive to ship ice cream. So I understand the cost. Yes. The cost is really cost prohibitive to me. I would never order because it's ten dollars so, for a tub of ice cream. Right. I would never spend that much money. Right. I mean, I, I have heart attacks when I have to spend five or six at right. Walmart. Right. And that's not just this company. That's what I'm saying. That's every it's ice not, cream. It's not just this company. Online. It's because you're ordering it online. It costs right. so much to ship it. Right. That that they have to charge a lot. So so ordering ice cream online is kind of cost prohibitive for me. But if you if you want to spend the money and try it out. I think either one of these would be good. To, I have a lot choices. of viewers, yes, who who don't mind at all, who are used to buying their their ice cream offline, and I know that they they won't. Some people just don't mind at all. Yeah. They're just yeah. Used if you don't to mind, it. then go for it. And uh, yeah, I have a friend who who never buys ice cream at the store. She only buys it 
frozen from the company. So this would be perfect for her. Uh, but yeah, the scoop shop would be the way for yeah, us to Yeah, if you go. could go through town and get stop at the scoop shop and get a get a couple of scoops of whatever ice cream they have, that'd yeah. be cool. Well, just know these are both go. delicious. You, you can't go wrong with either one of these flavors. Thank you to Michael again for sending them to us and thanks for watching.